Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Quest 11 Act 3 That's what I'm going to be calling it because that's what apparently it is So as I said in the end of episode Whatever the last episode was <laughs> I can't remember the numbers there's been that many But as I said I'm going to be What the hell is this place? Oh hell yeah no. uh, I'm going to be going to the watches I went and I looked online like I said I would And I tried to stay as spoiler free as possible I did a pretty good job of it I didn't see anything that I felt was like Okay dang that gave away the whole story Nothing like that felt like that Everything felt kind of chilled Everything felt kind of relaxed Everything felt kind of like it was meant to be Now What I've understood from reading the spoilers um, And The advice given because there were surprisingly a lot of people were having the exact same issue I had. Lots of people though did it differently. They actually didn't just go on with the game like I did. They wanted to know if they should go on or not. So basically they were asking, should I go to through with the time thing of going back in time or should I not? Is what people were asking and uh, everyone was saying, go, go, go. It's the only way to actually complete the game 100%. There is no way to complete the game if you do not go back in time. There's a ton of content that's only available. Some of that content is side quests. There have been new side quests added there. Remember there were 47 side quests, which we completed all of in one of our episodes. 47 out of 47 side quests. There, so there were side quests added to the game. Um, there are new story related things in the game, such as certain cities that were attacked by, for instance, the seven deadly sins that Morrigan had his generals with each orb. Um, those now have new quests, not all of them, but some cities have new quest lines and new storylines. So like the mother that died to save a son, she might not die, you know, Nordica might have a different story because the Lazarin doesn't attack it, such things like that. So the game has told me very specific to go on with the game and play like this. Um, the only thing I couldn't find was what I should do first. I'm going to choose to go to the watches first, but the, no guide or spoiler free guide or spoiler free discussion thread specified if I should or if I should go straight to the watches or if I should go straight to the exploring but since I feel like the whole entire game is gonna have to be explored again anyway I thought it would be smart to go to the watches first in case they give me some type of story related quest such as to go to Erdwin's Lantern you need to collect the six fucking magical dragon stars now to unlock it and um Maybe I don't want to go to every single town and explore every single town and speak to every person and do everything And then afterwards go to the watchtower and this to tell me I need to collect the six magical Dragon Ball Z stars Whatever you want to call it um, To unlock this now. I don't even know if there is anything like that. Maybe I don't need maybe if I go there I can immediately go to the Erdwin's Lantern, but I don't know we'll find that all out Together as I play so I think that was good enough explanation of what's happening so basically this episode is going to be us going to the watches Getting whatever quest line storyline related information we get out of the watches episode and then from there We are going to basically be playing the whole game again going to every city every town every side quest every single Person speaking to every person killing every single monster again. Uh, we don't need to worry about sparklies I've, It's been confirmed that all sparklies for areas that have not changed obviously um, so all sparklies, all chests, all collectibles that I've collected so far, I do keep and I do not lose. So I don't have to do that again. So that's definitely going to save us on the time front and it's going to help a lot. Um, so let's get into it. Let's go. So as I was trying to say, structure, watches, full game exploration, Odin's Lantern, any type of super mini boss after that, end of series. That is the structure of what is going to be happening in this Dragon Quest 11 playthrough. Because, you know, at some point, some, at some point you actually do need to start making some progress. Wow, this place is very different. Very, very different indeed. Extremely different. I like it. I like it a lot. So, um, new content. This place That's is insane. Good. Who builds a town on a rock in the sky? Majin Buu. Long ago, all was peace, all was harmony. Yggdrasil blessed us, faithful servants of World Tree. Hmm. Majin Buu. Where's the beard? <gasps> A shadow fell, horror from above. Kalasmas. Kalasmas. Now shadow falls again. Perhaps he returns. Perhaps. Kalasmas. Dark one. Hater of life. Bringer of death. 
luminary, Cetacea Rider. No time. Come, speak with Elder. These'll be the Watchers that Seer Lassie was on about then, eh? It seems they know something of the Dark Star. Come, let us speak with their Elder. Who are you exactly? You just joined our party and you're giving us orders. You don't have... We haven't built a relationship together yet, okay? As far... Oh... That's so cool. Um, We haven't built a relationship yet. I don't know you. You don't know me. We don't know each other from shit. You just joined the party like... Okay, this is the best game of my entire life. Uh, you just thought the party like two minutes ago, and you want to come here and tell us what to do and give us orders. Who do you think you are? Ah, humans, come! First time to see you so strange in flesh, long and thin. Oh, it's a freaking slime. I don't... I know I don't look like it, but I used to be the nasty slime around. I just love scaring innocent children, but ever since I arrived here, I've been as goo as gold. The watches are so spiritual and oozy-gooing. You can't help but want to be like them. I mean, I understand it. I get it. Okay, so these platforms will take me from location to location. This is this is pretty cool. Hello. I'm here to rob houses. Any any robbable houses? Are these pots that I can break, maybe? Dude. Wait. Oh, there's a book. There's a particular book, Skyfish Guy. It takes some shelf. Skyfish, no legs, has spines, several species. Found in sky, not like animals of land. Breeze through gills, skin rubbery, skin damp. Temperature cha change. Temperature change hurts them. Warm, soft, hot. Evaporate, hard to store, hard to breed. But delicious, sweet, and surprisingly good for pudding. Good roll. Excuse me! Don't eat the birdies, you creepy freaking margin boo people. I mean, I can't judge them. I don't know what margin people eat. Is this a broker breakable pot? No. Do margin boo people use the same bank that the rest of the world uses? Or do they have their own special bank? Three heroes of legend, companions of Illuminae, each with own power, very special powers. If powers could be found, reawaken could be used to great effect. No monster could withstand them. A bank was up. Gold, same for us all. Same in air, same on ground. Must keep safe. Keep safe with me. Welcome to bank. Lumini balance is 300,000 gold coins. What service does Lumini require? Cancel. Lumini's balance is currently 300,000 gold. Please come again. Beds here. Not human beds, but can sleep. Comfortable. Enjoyable. Welcome to end travelers. Short rest or stay overnight. Price is same. 64 gold coins. That's so cheap. Very well, travelers. I love margin boot people. They're my favorite people. I'm actually slightly worried that if you say something like, I love margin boot people, you get told you're racist. The world is a funny place, guys. Like, how dare you call them margin boot people? They look like margin boo. And I happen to love margin boo. I used to always pick margin boo when I played uh, Dragon Ball Z. And I didn't just pick any margin boo. Oh, no, 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 no. I picked fat boo. Because fat boo is my favorite boo. I see... Oh, you. Hello. Is you Illuminate. Welcome to Home of Watches. Eternal Home. Watches always here. Always watch over Eggdressel. Watches have message. Message for you. For Illuminate. Speak with Elder. Elder within furthest island closest to statues. Okay. I thought he would be in the Temple of Dawn, but apparently no. That would be too simple. Guiding light burns within. Sacred light burns since beginning, but sacred light place cannot enter now. Door closed. What? I will enter, don't think for what. The door side shut. Never mind, I will not enter. You you were correct. I was wrong. Welcome, Rudy, Hero of Legend. I am honored, but Aldo not here. Aldo on island and center waiting for you for Luminary. Okay. There's a lot of motion people on there. All died. There's only one left. I'm very happy I went back in time. Friend, screw, Q, brew, brass, chin, free, above. Watch us pray. Pray for what? What is this? This is prayer. Ancient words. Give thanks to Igdus or gratitude for life. Pray every day with mother. Pray to sacred tree. Aww, the watches are so cute. I will never ever murder them. No matter what anyone offers me. There's nothing you can offer me that will let me murder them. Except for giving me all my levels back. Human visitor. Rare here. Cetacea brings you, I think. Long journey. Must be tired. Rest. Please rest here. Are you fishing? I catch skyfish, but no fish fly today. Does not matter. Luminary comes. Alder waits. Go now. Furthest island. Furthest island is... That one. Do, 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 Sense evil in sky. Sky above Galopolis. Ancient evil. Cannot ignore. Disaster looms. Darkness. Destruction. Fallen world. Dude, I know. You guys all died. But now you're back. It's great. Other islands. Wish to know how to reach them. Very well. Use floating stones. Simple step on stones. Move by themselves. Use stones. Seek elder. Not difficult. Dude, don't you mock me. 
Just because it's not difficult for you, it doesn't mean it will be easy for me. We're not all made equal. Just because you're some type of genius, I might be a retard. It happens. It happens. Okay. Okay. This is very cool. I'm very excited about this. Don't get me wrong. I'm very excited to see new content and new things. It makes me very happy, but at the same time, I'm also frustrated. Because I want my levels back. And scholars study living things. Things from the world below. Horse, large animal. Humans sit on horse. Mind boggles. It's a doggy. Good doggy. What's up, dude? How's life shooting you? Legend tells of Black Star. Black Star boats ill. Disaster looms. Watch his power fades. Wish to help. Cannot. Too weak. What? Martian Boo's not weak. Don't you give me that cock. I love Martian Boo. Martian Boo. Oh, <gasps> Paris. I feel. I say it's Ash. I feel like I need to re explore every corner of every house that I've ever explored in my whole life. There's an old book of poetry entitled Songs of Urgent. Jay from his house. Look. Two song, the little people. Love from the world tree shoots did fall. The little folk who witnessed all. And down did rain, it just seeds. And plants, then beasts, then human breed. When all was wrought, worms lit in hand, they upward went and left the land. Since then, from haven, the watchers gazed. Look over us all, their names be raised. Hmm, that's cute. Okay, so there was definitely no pots in that house over there, right? There was two houses there. I feel like I need to re-explore them, but I'm going to choose this time to believe that I did it correctly the first time. So yeah, it's basically like another playthrough. Uh, which I don't mind. I'm all about that more playthroughs, baby. But at the same time, you're making my YouTube life very hard. Which kind of makes me wonder if before I play games, if I should do research about the games. But then I feel like it won't saint so saint to some dude. This place gives rare shit. Then I feel like I won't be able to get that guy, that blind first experience type of playthrough. Study hard, study for my dream to be harp maker, love sound, love music. Monsters visit here. Not all monsters bad. Must not rush to judge. Some monsters friendly have good hearts. Are you friendly? Squawk squawk, we cameras come here a lot. It's a great place to stop off on intercontinental flight scope. So it's like a little rest stop for the basically. Pots. You know if I see a pot, I break a pot. I'm a simple man. We do we don't have stuff like this in our monster shops. Oh no, Squawk. I'm going to grab some souvenirs so I can feather my nest with him when I get home. He squawk. Monster shops? I want to go to monster shops. All items made here by watches will be useful. Purchase, use, enjoy. Welcome to shop. What does Lumini require? Dude, I'm very broke. Griffin's, Griffin's wing. Seraph stick. Seraph's spear. Conqueror's axe. Silver shield. Star circlet. Perfect panacea. Lumin, uh, Lunaria. Special antidote. Special medicine. Angel's robes. Mirror armor. That's expensive as F, dude. Wait. Trying to make incoming spells. Is that for me, own people? I'm gonna buy Angel's Ropes. Boom! I'm broke. Give it to Veronica. Dude, I need money. I need money. Magical Might goes down by one. Magical Mini goes up by seven. And Defense goes up by like a billion. That's a hundred percent easy deal. Don't even have to think about it. Okay, so I kind of want to withdraw all my money. Uh, where's the bank? Oh, the bank's so far. It's so far, game. Okay. Wait, wasn't there in? I want to go race it in. I don't want it to be nighttime. I want to. I want to explore during the day. Okay, I'm going to the inn anyway. I'll edit this and I'll meet you all guys at the inn where I'm gonna withdraw some cash and uh, visit in. Okay, so I got some cash and I rested. So I'll meet you all guys back at the shop. And here we are back at the shop, so let's do some shopping. So there was actually two pots um, that I missed in that other area. He had more items. I didn't even get to all the items. So he's got technical uh, dream cloth, colorful cocoons, mythical ore, platinum ore, gold ore, silver ore, iron ore, copper ore, chimera ring, purple is here. We bought the angel rope, so let's buy the mirror armor. Yes, I'll buy one. I just put in our equipment back to now. Uh, star circlet, we'll buy one because we do not have one. Now equipment bag it goes. Silver shield will buy one because we do not have one. Now equipment bag it goes. Conquer Zax will buy one because we, as I mentioned, do not have one. Stereo staff will buy one again. And now equipment bag. Stereo stick will buy one as well. 
in our equipment bag and Griffin's wing will be the final item and in our equipment bag. Beautiful. So, bought one of every item now, which is really good. So I feel a little bit more confident about that. Sweet. Okay, I spent quite a lot of money, but that's okay. That's how you have it, you guys. You know, that's how we got it. So now we can actually go into the game. Finally. So let's do it. Um, see some more of this beautiful Sky Island and new content that we have not yet seen. Um, as I was saying, there was a uh, pot in the inn that I missed. Two pots. I broke both. Only one had an item. It was the Tech Kennedy Dream uh, Coat. Watching... Watches float above world here since beginning since creation. Ancient times, humans come here. Watches go to surface, live together. Over now, humans forget. You visit a human? Yes. Long time since humans come. How long? Very long. Ethan here, head for humans. Hard for humans, but humans welcome. Stay, enjoy. Okay. I mean, if you, if you insist, I won't say no. Okay. Still doing some exploration. It's a literal church in the sky. Hello. Rotate hard. Many battles important to pray. Pray with me. Yeah, okay. I haven't saved yet. This safe. Time passed that our game was just running. <laughs> Idle in the background. I don't care about like game times. I can have 600 hours in a game. I don't give a F, dude. It just means I've enjoyed the game more. What's... One barrel is dark and the other. The dark one had an item, the light one didn't. Oh, I found a secret about barrels. There's a book called History of Urgea, History of Time. Take some stuff and ask us to look. We are watchers. This is the legend of watchers, legend of law of time. Spirits weave time. Spirits born from Urgea, spirits of lost time. Light governs time. Holy light, spirits of lost time. God, holy light. Light glows bright, burn, explodes. When it does, lost things return. Eternity is undone. So I just want to point out that the, uh, on, on the Camp battle site. The Oracalcum is still there because we never, we haven't, um, we haven't mined it yet. So if we go back to the camp battlegrounds, we can get another piece of Oracalcum. Welcome, everybody. Really Other way to head. Watch us gather, gather to meet you. Great honor. N go now, hurry. Okay. It's a shlam. Verily, I do protect the elder and see that all who go before him do so in the slime honored fashion. You will treat him with respect or lose your head. Um, don't threaten me, dude. Respect the elder or uh, I'll come down like a ton of bricks. Uh, don't threaten me either. I'll murder all of you and none of you will even be able to lift a single hand against me. Do you understand this? Understand that I'm level 80. Okay. Unless you're level 99 monsters, which you're not. I'm not scared of you. At all. Oh, yeah, can I go back to the time thing? That would be interesting. This elder, wisest watcher, Eagle Tongue. Elder lives for all time, sees all, sleeps much, wakes seldom. Is that Majin Buu? Thought would wake for Luminary, but no. Listen, tell Watcher story. Look. Ancient times. Kalasmos comes. Seeks power. Power of Yggdrasil. Brings evil. Monsters. Miasma. Destruction. But Yggdrasil sees. Sends savior. Erdwin. Luminary. Ancestor rides Cetacea, crosses Erdria, gathers companions. Thrusten, warrior. Serenica, sage. Morkant, sorcerer. Join forces, make sword of light. Long battle, dark one defeated. Peace returns. But if they beat him, what is he doing back? Not know. I fucked up. But know this. Your birth. Your coming. You are light. Light to banish dark. But how? Not know. Seedlings. Huh? Elder! Elder, wake! 
escapes. Elder speaks. Silence. Listen. Seedlings of Yggdrasil. Seedlings know all. Is that the blue orb? Or is that just the orb that's blue? Yes! Give gift! Follow! Temple of Dawn! Okay! First speak to the people. Seedlings know all, Alder said, important words. Go to May and May and Temple, waiting luminary. Humans and watches not meet for a long time. Perhaps you are surprised. Perhaps watches look strange. But watch the same as humans. Live by grace of the ages. The same, not different. Luminaries fight for all. Fights darkness. Watches help luminary. Ancient monsters return. Heat call of evil master. Calamus rises again. Shadows fall. People panic below. Much suffering. Please, luminary, help people below. No one else can help. How does that do everything in this game? I take this. It's a section of a very ancient looking mirror. It depicts one small white beings offering up what looked like balls of light. There appears to be some kind of cog embedded in it. Embedded in it? I can't pronounce that word. Who the hell can pronounce that word? It's a statue of a woman holding the, uh, the wand. The word Serenica Sacred Sage are carved into the base. I just bought that wand! I'm unstoppable now. It's a statue of a man banishing a, brandishing a sword. The words urgent, luminary of legend are carved into the base. Is that supposed to be me? Uh, was love, true love, urgent is Renica, heroes of legend, soulmates, a perfect match. Can tell, look at that, she's perfect. Sigh. Oh, chest, hello. Just chilling here. Give me my chest. Give me my chest. JLPG finds an ultimate key. Grace, you pockets item. Excuse me, game. A uh, key that can open almost anything. Except for certain very special doors. Uh, still can't open the soul doors. Are you fucking serious, game? That sucks, dude. I thought that was maybe the way to open the silver doors. A central man wearing cape and carrying his long staff. The words Morkin and Stopper Sorcerer are carved into the base. A central man wielding heavy armor. The words Dressed. An invincible warrior coming to the base. Okay. Okay. I are standing now. I wonder if that key opens up all the picking silver doors. I want to test it. I need to test that. I need to get to these silver doors ASAP. But I've got a book with all the silver doors written on it, baby. So I ain't even worried. Ba -ba -da -ba. But as I mentioned, we'll be exploring the whole game as if it was our first time ever playing this game. What's up? Guiding light burns within. The sacred light burns since the beginning. Doors open at last. Open for Lumini. Go now. Mayor waits within. Who the hell's the mayor? The mayor more important than the elder? You would think the elder is already the mayor? It's, it's, very, it's, it's, it's a very confusing situation. Look, Temple of Dawn. Hello, I, my name is Pierre. Hey, that we don't have that thing yet. That 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 uh, lantern to go to the battle campsite. Feelings ancient, sacred, protect land. Remember. Feeling here, remember, but not dark one, not how to beat. But ceilings below, on land, three ceilings. These two remember. Perhaps how to beat. Perhaps. Where's my book? I got a book with all this shit written in. Book? Where? 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 Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Eh? Dude. What happened? I suck at this game, dude. Oh, go. Oh, there's literally three. One in the Laguna de Gondolia railway station, one in the Zwajos railway way station, and one in Angular lower level, which is right in front of the Angular entrance. Okay. Guiding light here. Raise hand. 
Mm, okay. Wait, the mark. Light just gets squished down into that little thing. Chubby Gaming acquires the guiding light. Sweet. Guiding light, flame of Indradon, creator of Erdria, awakens power, power of luminary. Will be useful. Help to find, find how to beat. Here, Elder. Hmm? Uh, uh. Uh. It's the Boo. Must awaken power. Power of companions. Elder walks. Please be. Companions have light. Light of hope. Must kindle. Strengthen leaves of Idrisil, children of world tree, shine forth. Is this just that scene in Dragon Ball Z where you go to that guru and the guru awakens Gohan's inner power and such a shit like that? And it awakens Neil's inner power and all that stuff? Don't think I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z. I watched Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Quest. Don't steal Dragon Ball Z's stuff. We're all powering up. Are oh, you giving me my 40 levels back? JPG Gaming and his companions learn new spells and abilities, new patterns have been unlocked in their character builders. Eric and the others, full potential has been unleashed and their levels have increased. Also remembers all the places he's visited. He's now able to return to these locations anytime using Zoom. Oh yeah! I feel amazing! This is literally Guru from Dragon Ball Z. Some say light brings dark, luminary brings dark one. Not so. Mistaken. Luminary must end this. Break cycle. Ick dragons. Blessings. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Elder! <laughs> I like this guy. Tires, Elder. Walking tires, Elder. We will carry. Give my levels back. Very well. To the lands below. Let us seek out these seedlings. But aren't they behind us? I'm so very confused. Sacred Flame, take it, take it to the seedlings on surface. See memories, memories of interest. So final three, all three seedlings. Ask other watches. Watches no match. Watches no way to find. I got my levels back. Yes, yes. This is the best day of my life. Character bolded. Oh my goodness. Wait. Veronica has a whole bunch of new stuff. And Zerenica has one. And Zeran doesn't. Jade does. Does she have revamp? Does she still have revamp? Rab does. And Tony does. Well, let's start. So, Eric is going to be a night boy. So, we're going to take him into Navs. Ah, uh, you know what? He can stay boomerangs. Stay... Nah, let's make him up. Nah, let's make him boomerangs. Nah, let's make him, let's make him boomerangs. Sweet, so we're going to do some leveling up here, guys. I'm going to be doing all the leveling up. Especially with Zerenica and Veronica, because that should be different. Double down. With this much points, I'm pretty sure we can, we can just max level our boy. Um. Eric, basically, right off the bat. So I'm not too worried at all. Because there's a, there's a lot of levels, guys. I think we're actually even higher than what we were before. But I guess that's all the experience we got since starting this new game. Because we got quite a bit. We got quite a lot of enemies, guys. And they're pretty strong, too. Oops. Dodge Charms plus 5 Critical claim. A dream ability that can ensure a critical enemy. Can ensure a critical. I mean, that literally means that he's the best person to use for freaking grinding 
Um, metal slimes. Because you can't see it. More pep chunks. I don't really care about that much. Okay. We go down into... Knives next, I guess. I might want to take into knives spots at some point. I don't know. So many skill points to use. Okay, so basically, that's maybe why when I read the online, like, what to do after the game, most people say just go on to the game. <laughs> like, there's lots of people that just say, just play the game, you know. Just play. And that's probably what they meant when they said, just play them and just get your button over to the Elder ASAP. Because the Elder's going to, of course, give you back all your levels that you work your ass off to get. And I'm pretty sure myself, or I, I know for myself at least, and I'm pretty sure for many other people, it was a pretty big deal to lose all of that. It was very painful. And I, I, it makes a lot of sense that they, uh, go out of the way, make sure you get that back reasonably quickly. Let's see some points. Maybe there's a plenty of six. Career criminal. Nope, okay. So almost done with him. Pretty good. Uh, so hers is very, like, I actually want to read through it. So I'm going to hold off on that and hers as well. The rest of them I just don't care. So I'm just going to go super fast through. Uh, I'm not even going to be looking at what I'm learning. I'm just going to learn everything. Because, as I mentioned, um, the only one I really want to spend time reading through is Serenica, or Serena and Veronica because I've lost Serenica. Uh, I used to call Serenica because she had all of Veronica's abilities. And uh, Veronica and Serena together obviously make Serenica. So the joke, well, not joke, but what I'm trying to say is that it's basically the game's way of making that Veronica and Serenica are... Well, Veronica and Serena equals Serenica, and Serenica is, of course, the um, legendary sage to help Odwin defeat the previous Dark Lord. So it all makes sense in that sense, so that's why I did it that way. But now that I've got Veronica back and Serena doesn't get Veronica's abilities, I'm super interested to know whether um, or what new type of abilities and skill sets our girl um, Serena has, and then obviously what did Veronica get, because everything Veronica gets will be brand new for us. So this is a very guru type situation from. Uh, this is a very, very guru type situation from Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> like the Guru unlocks Gohan's, I think, I'm, I'm not sure about Krillin's, I know it's Gohan and Neil at least, he yeah, unlocks Gohan and Neil's powers, but I'm not sure if he actually unlocks Krillin's powers too, um, so that's also very, very interesting, um, just to, just have that little flashback of my childhood all over again, you know, um, Dragon Ball Z, an extremely big part about what got me into anime, Japanese games, etc, etc, because it was like this brand new experience as a child that I was just like, my, my mind was so like amazed by it, it's like, oh my word, look at this, you know, this game suddenly, well not this game, this is story on TV, there's these people and they like have these powers and they should, you know. All I'd been used to that was maybe similar with probably things like Power Rangers or things like that. I'd never known uh, anime before that or I'd never known anything. I'd never known like the basic cartoons, you know, Teenage Mutant, Ninja Turtles, X-Men. X-Men was pretty cool, I must admit. Um, things like that. So for me, to watch something like Dragon Ball Z was huge. It was absolutely huge. I openly huge. It was this whole other world that I have not yet explored. And this actually makes me think Savannah still has something he can unlock because he's going to actually just straight up and everything. Which is odd because no one else is even close right now. And Savando is basically done. So, oh, you can just unlock it. Um, how does this work? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so much faster. I don't. Oh no, we don't want that actually. No, I don't want to confirm. Uh, I don't think um my girl Jade specifically is going to have too much um new stuff either. It's just going to be the allure stuff. And the, um, the can open is claw, right? That's his claw. When wielding, when wielding claws, we don't want that. And we don't want can open either. What is this? See, I don't like doing like this. This is, this is for me very confusing. I'm just going to do it like how I know. I'm going to go to spears. I'm going to learn the spears like a proper man would learn his spears. That wasn't a spear, but I just want to unlock it. Okay, what is this? Pep chance? Good, enjoy. We need to focus your spears down, because your spears are what's where, where you're at. Where all your, your quality is at. So I want to get all your spears stuff ASAP. Then I'll focus on your lure next. This is so, I actually do uh, not mind this, but I actually am perfectly fine with this and the game's decision to do it this way. Surprise! 10p? Okay, cool. I completely forgot about those. That is a very nice surprise. Thank you very much, Kim. Pink tornado. Yes, please. Pain Patel, yes please. Jade, jade, jade skills are so expensive. There is unfortunately a claw, two claw things we learned that I didn't particularly want to learn. But, you know, whatever. It's not the end of the world. We don't care too much about it. It's not like it's going to destroy our game plan too much. Is this a lure? Let's close it again. I want to go down the street to get to the other spear side ASAP. Okay, so just this one of 18 and then we learn the final spear. Then we can just go up here and learn these final... Stick up stuff, which is mainly just for the stats that I want, these deck stats, and actually, I will learn the certificate that it is, looking worth it. Okay. 40 on trade skill panels, beautiful. Okay, Rab, my boy Rab, I kind of don't care either, but I'm going to go into uh, heavy. Oh, first, let's finish my movement that is done over here. Because you can. And that, of course, makes it easier. Get that pep chance up. Remember, Rab's is uh, very difficult to do because it's quite heavy. Now, you guys are probably going to be hearing chipmunks all of these level ups, except for Serenica and Veronica, because 
This is taking very long, much longer than I anticipated, and I don't want it to be this long. So I'm going to be speeding this up a bit. Hey, why am I taking him to close? I want uh, the ones. I want him to be close. I just remembered that I actually want Rad to be close. I kind of forgot. It's okay. It's not going to work. That's quite. There's quite a lot to learn, guys. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Rab's tree is actually so complicated, it's so like difficult. It's like unnecessarily difficult, it's kind of insane. The problem is he uses claws, but he's got so many dark magics that are super good. So you kind of want him to be more into a magical side of things, but... You know, I guess the game... I've already got a mage in the form of Ronica, so I don't want another dark mage, or another mage that does damage like that. Because, obviously, I've already got Ronica. No reason for me to have more than that. Wild animal, five hit core combo that could be really good for killing Licky Mouse Labs, etc. We got a pet power there that I'll never know what it is because I click buttons quickly without actually giving the game enough time to process the information. It's not my own fault, but you know, maybe something I can work on in the future. Attention. Beautiful, Rab is done. So we're making Rab very claw based this time, and last but not least for Hendrik. I think Hendrik will be um, will be very, very quick, so. Because we actually kind of just don't care about uh, Hendrik too much. I need to open it myself. It seems that I do. Okay, no problem. Uh, so we're gonna make Hendrik into a axe wielder. Because I really have my main character the possibility of wielding greatswords, because he learns it anyway. And although um, I'm pretty sure Hendrik's gonna learn everything, let's just let him learn, uh, let's just take him to the part of axes. So fine, just why not? I think it's perfectly acceptable. I mean, it really doesn't matter how I do Hendrik, because I'm pretty sure he's gonna max out right now, right here. Um, which does make me ask the question, you know, is he going to get another section? Like I'm expecting to happen with Silvando, because Silvando is also about to max out, and everyone else is even close to maxing out, but I guess we'll find that out as we play the game, so. Heroism is important, so we'll get the heroism. But I'm pretty sure this is basically on the point to just maxing out his entire grid right here and right now, which is uh, kind of insane. Ah, man, another pet power we'll never know, but it's okay. Well, I'll make a video that shows up with pet power, I'm pretty sure, so. Once I've maxed out all the characters. Yeah, Hendrik is actually, I think, going to max out his entire grid right now. This last ability costs 12 less. It's done. It's 16. Okay, so he's got one. And he's done. Okay, sweet. So now I'm actually going to be talking in normal voice. Chipmunk voice should be gone. And we should be here together. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we are going to be doing Veronica and Serena. Everything you guys have seen at this point, up to this point, should have been uh, Chipmunk me uh, talking. Well, I sped that up because A, you know, time is of the essence. And I didn't want to spend too much time with just this leveling up system but since it's uh veronica and serena who should have different goods now i wanted to shut up so match got might for veronica on them which is good more magical mites with more damage some of them over here caprizzle pretty single enemy with a giant fireball i'm pretty sure serena had that so i think it's basically just going to be um serena uh serena's abilities that she had split between herself and veronica so that means everything that Serena had basically learned. Um, Veronica is going to now learn, um, and then Serena is going to learn the other half of her spells. It's more of the healing side of things. So, very interesting. Um, that's it. Kabumo blows away all enemies with enormous explosion. Is that? I, that, I don't. Know, I think I had that. I had kaboom, not kaboom la. Nightmare. Sounds super scary. Um, so yeah, I don't actually think I had that. I don't think I had Kaboomo. I think I, I know I had Kaboom, guaranteed. But I definitely don't think I had Kaboomo. More magic damage with the wand. This was uh, anti-magic. That is not new. More MP absorption when attacking. That's fine. Here's another room. Enchanted Echo enables to use occasion cost two spells. We did have that on Serenica. I always said I thought it was broken. Imagine a double magic burst, guys. Holy shit. Will the second one do zero damage though? Because I have zero mana. Will the second one do the same damage the first one did hmm because it does echo so you're echoing the same skill that's just some more magical damage we've got some moderate mp recovery after battle which is very nice uh, more maximum mp when wielding heavy wands sings thing and arcan art that is going to have full on party member basically kazing but just change the name of it sweet okay so let's head on into whips 
for us. Veronica, Hypno Whip, nothing new. Um, attack power increased. With whips, hit the hay, of course, which is nothing new. We already have it on Zalvando. And now in Veronica, Star Strike, we have that too. MP Absorb when attacking with the whip. That is different. I don't think Sylvander gets MP in attacks with ever, no matter what. Some pep chant, which is the final ability to heavy ones, I think. Or well, that's at least what it looks like. And then we'll head on down. Lashings of Love, once again, not nothing new. And then attack power up with whips. And we cannot get the last of the whips because obviously we do not have enough points. So, Veronica. Basically just learned all the spells and things that she would have learned anyway. So I'm going to start off with the Street and we can get it down here. So we got Hymn of Earth, Hymn of Thunder, Hymn of Air, um, MP Recovery, MP and Magical Mining. So I'm going to quickly do it like this. So that's all new. Some max HP, some damage. Confirm. Beautiful. Okay, so we got Hymn of Air, Hymn of Earth, we know about that, Hymn of Thunder. We know about that too. Confirm. Okay, now we do need to do it old school again. Because the game wants us to do it also. That is increased effectiveness of hymns. Not that I ever use hymns, but okay, thank you very much. Hymn of light. Once again, something we won't probably ever be using, but that's okay. Another pep house we never had before, I think. Holy hymns, increased effectiveness of hymns. More hymns stuff we're probably never using, but that's okay. Okay, so let's go over here. Once moderate MP recoveries, nothing new. Paper power, not really anything new. Divine Intervention, also not anything new, I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Could be wrong about this one, but I think it's the same. More pep powers that we are missing because I'm taking too fast. Grace of the Goddess, also not new. So, so far, Serena seems to pretty much just be exactly the same, minus damage. <laughs> So Serena is going to be very bad in my party now, where she was the most powerful person party. She's actually now Divine Restitution. That is pretty good. Is that? Did I always have that? I don't know if I always had that. I probably did, but I can't remember right now out of the bat. Interesting. I just want to check uh, over here. Is this a hip? It is a hopper tree, so we'll go up first. We head on up upwards first with Serena. So I'd like to finish up a, a hopper tree if I can, but I don't think I'm going to have enough points. It's okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have points for the final hopper tree on Serena. And that is Doleful Dirge. Lowest name is risen to all elements. I'm pretty sure I did have that also already on Serena. So, yeah, that's everyone's level ups. Beautiful. Hendrik is literally four points away from just being done. Literally four points away from just being done. And we will pretty much be done. Stack loads of accolades. 150 accolades. So, let's go click on these things and find out what these are about. So there's any errors from the ceiling, but it seems unlikely that it will give you any clues on how to defeat Lasmos. Okay. Mysterious engine MS for ceiling, but it seems unlikely. Okay. Mysterious energy, but okay. Sweet, so it looks like these are just saying that there's the three out there up to find, which is obviously the ones in Laguna de Gondolia. Whaleway, the one in Zwajos, Whaleway, and the one in Angula lower level. See, guys, taking notes and writing down things is helpful. For now, though, that is going to be in this episode. Maybe a little bit on the shorter side, but I think it's fine because we did a lot of story-related things and leveling up, etc., etc., and fixing up that. And I should also check everyone's equipment again because I might have changed it. But I'll do that all off camera for now. Thank you all very, very much for watching. You know what to do if you enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. This is Act 3 of Dragon Quest, and I hope you all are enjoying it. Without further ado, let's jump into it, and let's head on into the next episode, which I'll see you guys soon. And we'll be basically playing the whole game i'm going to be starting in cobblestone making my way through heliodor into emerald coast into hotostep hotostep to galopolis galopolis to where Erdwin's lantern is kind of floating about and see what's happening there to gondolia gondolia straight from gondolia to um Zwarjus ruins Zwarjus ruins into octagonia octagonia into dungeon region dungeon region into costa valor Costa Valor into Puerte Valor, Puerte Valor into Hon probably going to go to Lonolulu. Check that out because that's kind of on the way. After Lonolulu, making our way down to the Snarfout, Hexwoods, and Sniffleheim region, which is going to take us to Arborea and maybe to the forest, the first uh, first forest if we can go there again. I'm not sure if we can. And then, of course, along the way, we will finish it off in Angry La because Angry La. 
um, is where one of the ceilings are. Now, I have to decide after I find out about the first silver door if we are going to be going to all the silver doors at the um, Calicia Cilicia. Man, I can't remember the name of this thing. Um, Cetacea. Using the Cetacea, if we're going to go to all the special Cetacea areas before Angry Law. And then the battle campsite before Angry Law and then go to Angry Law. Because once we go to Angry Law, we'll A, meet Master Pang, which I'm very excited to do. Probably do the trials. Probably get the final seating thing and then go on with the actual game, which would take us to Erdogan's Anthem. I'm assuming. In the meantime, I, of course, want to get every city. I want to save every city from whatever horrible fate they've bound themselves in. I want to make sure I fight one of every single new monster type. I want to make sure that I do all the side quests in the game. All 60 of them now. As you can see, if we go over here to Misk, we have our quest catalog. They are now 60, uh, which we have to do if we check here. Our first one being right over here, which is question mark, question mark. There's a monk near the high hall of Angulo who seems a little too sure of himself. Why don't you try talking to him and see what's up. So as you can see, there are six trials. So we're going to be doing all of that. Going to handle the last three mini medals. Um, if we can recruit any more uh, people for the school, I'm not sure if we can because these people that we recruited, you know, that was after the post Morrigan destruction. Now that Morrigan hasn't destroyed, can I collect Jarmina? Can I collect the little girl in Cobblestone? I don't know. These are all unknown uh, factors of the game. So this is literally a brand new playthrough, a brand new game. Act 3 of Dragon Quest 11. And I hope you're all enjoying it with me as we explore the new world and the new side line of the game that we did not have access to before for now though thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time with more dragon quest 11 coming soon yeah, yeah.